Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Timothy Jimothy, or TJ, if you will, finally got the nod. We are going to be the playoff starter for the year three playoffs. I believe this is year three. 2025 so that checks out and we have the fourth place Edmonton Oilers in round number one so the third and fourth place teams are going to be squaring off here very early on in the playoffs in fact as early as they possibly could is there a way to view their lines we could probably just go to stats and see what their team consists of but I doubt we could check their lines I wouldn't be the slightest bit surprised if McDavid and Dreisaitl are both gone honestly but no they are not they're here they both put up 96 points Pugliarvi put up 63 out of boy pool party Nuge put up 52 okay so they really haven't made any super big moves all right the goaltender situation is another story they got Uko Pekka 86 overall he is going to be their starter I can only imagine and they got Braden Holpe as the backup he had a 906, which isn't great. They still got Nurse. They ended up getting Brett Pesci somehow. Cody CC. Yeah, okay. So the only real addition there is Pesci, I believe, and then Chalowski and Butcher. So let's get the playoffs started and find out if we can jump to an early lead here against the Edmonton Oilers or if we will be going down by one. First period. It is a great start for the Golden Knights. We're up 2 0, and we only have six shots as well. Second period. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna skip past any playoff games. It could be 32 to one and I'm still going in there. All right, you know what? Maybe that's a little bit dramatic. If it was 32 to one, probably wouldn't jump in. There would be absolutely no point, but you know, three nothing, they could easily come back from that, especially when they have McDavid and Dreisaitl. That is easy for them. They could do that in a matter of seconds and they are off to a hot start here. Wow, okay, so they are flying in the third period so far, can tell that they are playing behind and they want to catch up. Dreisaitl has it and he is gonna get nudged off the puck. Alex with it, who's going in to help him. Nice job, Theodore picks it up in front of the net. That's a good start. I like the way we're playing defensively so far. Let's go Knights. Three goals seems like a lot, but not a lot, a lot, you know? If we could get the fourth goal, I would feel a lot more comfortable. I don't know why that one digit makes a world of a difference, but I just feel like it does. And unfortunately, we just sent them to a power play. Victor Arvidsson with a very undisciplined interference penalty. Is it gonna show a replay or am I gonna have to do that myself? I feel like I'm gonna have to do it myself. I have to do everything around here. Oh, they are showing a replay. Yeah, he basically just held them up. This is not good. This is their chance to get back into this game real quick. Holloway rips one just past the blocker, but thankfully it was also outside of the net. So we have that going for us. Petrangelo carries it in and we are killing some time here. Nuge brings it behind their own net and goes to Burakovsky who takes the hit to make the play. And the Oilers trying to get an attack going here but they're failing miserably. I spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh yeah, they stole it from us. And now Nuge is behind the net. He goes to Kyler. Burakovsky, why is Dreisaitl and McDavid not out there right now? I don't care if they have logged five minutes so far in this third period they should still be out there right now but i'm just a goalie not a coach okay so take oh my word my opinion with a grain of salt i don't even know if that's a saying i could have just rickied it but anyway let's go couple big saves there for tj was that the first two shots of my playoff appearance i'm trying to remember i know there was the one somewhat close call where they poke checked it it wasn't really a shot, you know, but I guess technically still got a save for it. Those are my my two first real saves. I'll we'll call it that. I would think with our roster, I was just saying this, I believe in the last video, but could have been before that. We have to be a serious contender. Like we are stacked to the brim right now. And I see people in the comments saying I have no idea how this team is cap compliant. Me neither. Whoever our GM is in this game has pulled off an absolute madness. I came over way too far for that one. Still made the save, though. Nice try, Leon. I do plan to play... That was so bad. That was so bad. Basically, I'll just run you through what happened in my head here. So Bouchard went to take the shot. It was blocked, and then I kind of panicked. Thought McDavid was going to go across. But no, he just picked it up and tucked it. So, 3-1. Anyway, before I was rudely interrupted by that McDusty goal, I was going to say I plan to play three games per video in the playoffs. There you go. Stand them up. Don't let them get anything fancy going. Oh, but if they're going to throw hits, can we fight, please? And thank you. I'm going to save it for when it matters. You know, we're down by one goal or something, but I will have my first playoff goaltender scrap at some point in this playoff run, unless 
there is just never a situation where we need to get the boys fired up. Realistically, I could go fighting every game, but there's no fun in that, you know? It takes the the whole big experience out of it. Oh my word, they are getting an incredible attack going right now. We need to get the puck out and not turn back. Don't turn back, Alex. Now they have it in the zone again. Pool Party has it. Great job. Okay, you might have made up for it. You might have made up for it. No, he didn't. Gives it right back to them. To the point. Nurse is walking into the middle. Thank you. What a tremendous play. Holloway over to Nurse, who tries to go five hole, maybe? I'm not really sure. I feel like I just kicked it away with the left mini wheat. But we have a chance here. Now the Golden Knight's coming in. Didn't really get anything out of that one. Arvidsson passes to Nate Mack. I like it. What a goal. Cobb takes the shot. Mack was there to tip it in, and he did just that. We have our three-goal lead restored. That is massive. Fire the boys up. Let's see. Show me the replay. Reload the ting. My, <laughs> my voice is going. Oh, no. I don't even have the excuse that I'm sick or I've recorded a bunch of videos today because neither of those things are true. This is the first and planned to be only video because I have hockey for myself later tonight. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but I think it's safe to say we're taking a 1-0 series lead here as we are hitting the two-minute warning and we have a three-goal lead, which is kind of substantial. If they would have scored right there, my confidence level would have dropped quite significantly, but they didn't. I also feel like I've seen a ton of comments for this, and I just haven't really had the chance to do it since reading the comments, because as you guys know by now, I typically, today being the exception, record these videos in bulk. If I'm recording one, I'm probably doing three, so let's go! That is a 5-1 lead for the Golden Knights. And we want to try and dominate. We want to intimidate them. Where was I going with my last point again? I completely lost it. What? Cody CC fires this puck in. What an arc. That is a beautiful shot. I come out to get the puck, as I do. And then that happens. We almost own gold. Oh my days. That is the definition of unfortunate. All I can say is thankfully the lads lit the lamp and we had a pretty solid goal margin. So we still have three goals difference. We should be fine. We will be fine. But that still sucks. I now remember what I was going to say. So because I record these videos in bulk, the comments, I typically can't implement what I see in those comments till a few videos later. So, the whole skating to the bench yourself, to pull yourself thing, I would not know that until right now, basically. 27 shots for the Edmonton Oilers and only 2 goals, whereas 23 shots for the Golden Knights and 5. Not good from their goalie whatsoever. And we still didn't meet expectations. I'm offended. Have we been spared from James? I think we have. I don't hear his voice. This is magical. Not like this opinion comes from experience or anything, but if you were to ask me, I'd say that's a pretty good way to start the playoffs. Hopefully we can carry that momentum into game number two and continue to beat down on the Edmonton Oilers, get a 2-0 series lead heading to Edmonton. But let's find out. First period, great start. Mojo puts us up 1-0. Second period, they really can- Okay, I'm not gonna say that. I'm gonna jinx it. But they really cannot score on me during the sim. Just said I wasn't going to say it, but screw that. So last game, we had what was a three-goal lead heading into the final period of play. This time, we only have two, which is supposedly the worst lead in hockey. Whoever said that? Idiot. That is not the worst lead in hockey. I would much rather have the insurance marker than be up by only one. Because if they score, we still have the one-goal lead. Whereas if we had a one-goal lead... It'd be tied. Here's Pool Party, goes to take a shot, but Alex gets in the way of that one. Now the puck is behind our net. I'm not going to hug the post. I don't trust that. We have a great pass up to Patrick Kane, who will get the puck into the neutral zone. And now Mark Stone enters the Oilers. What a pass. I don't know why, but I was about to call Shea Theodore Jose Theodore. First of all, wrong position. Second of all, wrong generation. <laughs> not even... Close to the same player. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. The Kool-Aid man prevails. What a glove save. Nifty. 
I tried to toss it out as well, uh, clearly, as you could see. <laughs> pool party? Really? <laughs> really? That's what's going to end up going in? I'm making all these saves, and then that's what goes in. Very unfortunate, but goal's a goal. We only have a margin of one now, which is terrifying. You know what? It's better than, though, being tied. Here comes Edmonton. Oh, my word. He got dropped. No, 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 no. Don't hug the post. Don't you dare hug that post. That was a very up-close and personal chance from whoever that was. And thankfully, it did not end up in the back of the net. They really don't want to lose this game and be down by two. The Oilers flying out there right now. And we're getting outplayed big time. I got to just call it as it is. Oh, yeah? Love that. Love that. And he passed it out. Risky business. There's another guy on the other side. Much more wide open. But I'm on Team Uko Pekka there because I probably would have done the exact same thing. So I applaud him for making me not the only one. What a save. Oh my word. We're going to the penalty kill, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Oh, I don't like this. That's a blocker save. Please get the puck down the ice as soon as you can. Nice try, McDusty. I'm not hugging that post, though. No way. It has come back to bite me far too many times. I should have done it. Please just shoot it down the ice, SIU legend. Pull Yarvi again through a crowd. I'm going to do it. I shouldn't have done it. Why do I keep doing that? It's going to cost us. You know, I should have been doing this last game when we had a multi-goal lead. Whereas right now, one mistake and this game is all knotted up. So I should smarten up and knock it off. I've seen a lot of comments asking about the settings that I use and I haven't really changed much of anything. I play on All-Star, not Superstar, because I would be getting absolutely demolished, but All-Star is still not easy. I do feel like I've gotten a lot better though, so I think if we turned it up to Superstar, we would probably still be floating along, but it's hard to say. Maybe we'll try it next season. A minute 30 to go! Don't you dare get stuck in an animation like that ever again in your entire life. That was the scariest moment of this game. Not even close. Nice try. I like it. But Edmonton is not going down without a fight. And here they come. Pool party. He's in over the blue line. Passes it to McDusty, who makes a weird pass. It somehow went through multiple people. I'll save that one. Nice. Oh, not nice. Not nice. Nice. You're going to miss that. You're, you could have taken one more stride. No, half of a stride. And you would have been golden. But alas, here we are. Okay, they went offside. 16 seconds to go. It's looking good. As a matter of fact, it's looking real good. But they are going to get one more chance here. Yamamoto is in. He takes the shot. Oh no. Oh no. That was scary as well. But I wouldn't say it was scarier than the other one. Lindell... Headman's it to Arvidsson, and that will do it. See, he's smart. All right. All right, Victor. I was just about to compliment you saying, like, he takes the line. He's going to go in, get the easy shot, and then he tries to pull off a deke. It's beyond me at this point. 29 shots and only one goal against. That's got... That is a first star performance. There is no way that someone else is the first star. Bada bing, bada boom. 966 in that performance. That's half decent, right? Asking for a friend. Will we be able to take the commanding three-game lead and put Edmonton right up against the wall? Let's find out. I'm going to go ahead and sim, not play. I don't know why I did that. First period. Oh, my word. All right, second. 5-3. So it's a two-goal lead. A lot more goals in this one, though. All right, all right. This is it. This is the game that we could go up 3 to nothing against the Edmonton Oilers. But, again, they do not go down easy. This is not going to be a simple third period by any means. I'm almost too scared to go get the puck if they dump it in now because I don't want a repeat of what happened. I, that's the first time I've ever seen that, I think. I don't believe that has ever happened to me in any goalie be a pro. Not even NHL 23. I'm talking any be a pro. That's probably a lie, but I definitely do not recall that happening. Let's go copper. I don't know why they just let Eichel have that. The guy was going after it. And, ah, never mind. I'll just leave it for you. Our defense is playing so good right now, too. Like, they're trying to gain the line, and as soon as they do, our defense step up and shut it down. So, 
Our whole team gelling right now. We are on fire. Offensively, we're getting it done. Defensively, we're shutting it down. And in net. I mean, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I think we're playing all right back here. I feel like I've always struggled in goalie be a pros, and this is the first time that I've actually felt like a competent goaltender. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I'm finally taking all of the mistakes that I've made and learning from them, applying them, and I've just gotten a lot better. That breakaway would have been a guaranteed goal in any be a pro before NHL 23. There's no doubt in my mind. What was that? I have no idea what just happened to our player or what spells Burakrov Burakrovsky. <laughs> Who's that? I don't know what spells Burakrovsky was casting, but that was just not natural. So I would like a league-wide investigation, please. That seemed like it would have been a big hit. I'm going to do it. You got to face your fears. Nice. We actually managed to pick it up this time. I will go to the defenseman who's standing conveniently right there. Nice. Good breakout. Great save. Great save from their goaltender. I mean, he hasn't made a whole lot this game, but that was one that counted. Because I'm going to be completely honest, in some of my old Bia Pros, I was playing on, like, pro. I don't know if I ever went down to rookie, but I've definitely gone to pro before because I was getting absolutely deleted, and I feel quite comfortable in All-Star. This was not my fault. <laughs> there was nothing I could have done there. I made the save, and then he just ripped it out from under me. And buried it. And the ref's like, yeah, you're allowed to do that. Here's Holloway. He's coming in. Gets it over. That's a good goal. All right. Well, we are tied just like that. I shouldn't have said anything. Why was I talking about how I feel competent in net now? All right, offense. I can't really ask you for much because you have given me five goals, which should be plenty enough. But if you want to get one more, old TJ would really appreciate it. I also feel like we go to overtime every single time that I have to leave. It just works out that way. And I will never throw because screw that, I want to win. <laughs> Hyman goes down low. That gets deflected off the defender, I think. A minute to go, and the momentum has shifted big time. We're getting dummied all of a sudden. Burkowski's behind the net. Goes in front to Nuge, who hits the side of the net. We got to get this puck out, guys. Petrangelo, what are you doing? Thank you. Dreisaitl goes for a between-the-legs pass. Didn't work out, but I do appreciate the effort. Stone kicks it back. How much time we got? We got about 25 seconds. It's a tie hockey game. I would say overtime is likely, but let's see if we can generate anything here. Stone gains the line, immediately gets crushed against the boards and loses it. Oh, but he fights for it back. Well, he kind of fought for it. After a mini-collapse... We are headed to overtime in a 5-5 playoff game. This will be TJ's first playoff overtime. And unless we go to like three overtimes, our stats are going to take a little bit of a beating here, but that's okay. We had amazing stats coming into this game, so they're still going to be very impressive, no matter the outcome here. Yes, let's go. Kane gains the line, has it behind the net, goes to Stone. I like it. Back to Kane, who tries to roof it, but a great save from Edmonton's netminder. And speaking of Edmonton, they are coming back this way. And they're coming in hot. That's a big save. Pass that over to you, Theodore. No. No, 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 no. Not like that. Ah! What have I done? No! No! I knew it was going to come to bite me eventually. Oh, why did I do that? I knew I shouldn't have done it. Oh. That is the biggest choke of all time. So, first things first. We have the puck here, right? We have a clear chance to get it out, and we decide, nah. Pool party, pokes it off, takes a shot, that's saved. He gets the rebound, that is also saved. Connor is like, hey, I know this guy, he's an idiot, he's probably gonna pass it out. Uh, yep, you are correct. And then, this is like, I feel like I was still there for it, you know, but somehow, some way, just pure coincidence, it goes five-hole, and then he celebrates directly in my face which fair enough i deserve it i'm actually so upset with myself if we come back and lose this series now i will be so disappointed you remember the other times when i was throwing the puck out and i said hey you know it hasn't come back to bite me yet so there's no point stopping yeah that's called being proactive should have probably stopped before the habit got out of control and before it cost us in an important game. This wasn't a regular season game. This was a playoff game to go up 3-0. Which also 
We shouldn't have even gotten to overtime. That was my bad. Well, we're currently three games in and we will be playing three more games in the next video. So hopefully it doesn't go to a game seven and hopefully the Golden Knights will take it home in the next episode. But I guess we'll find out in the next one then, won't we? Holy crap, that killed our save percentage that bad? We're down below a 900 just from that game. Oh no. All right, well, you know what? I'm not gonna let it bother us. It can't sink in because the more we think about it and the more we dwell on the past, the worse we're gonna do. So we just gotta move on. It was a rookie mistake and we'll be better. So on that note, I will see you in the next video where the Golden Knights defeat the Edmonton Oilers in round one. That's right, you heard it here first. That's how confident I am. I'll see you soon.